Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow. In this video, we're going to talk about how to fix only up is having crashing issue. It is not launching. It is having won't launch or freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, black screen and even stuck on loading screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. The first one is all about you have to start with a simple step that is all about you can try with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start, click on this one, go to this icon, go for a simple restart. Once restart is done, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Most probably the issue has to be fixed by this particular step. If this is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to verify integrity of game file. So verify integrity of game file is actually nothing but it's an important step for this just go over here in this icon right click and go to properties now from here go to install it file there is an option called verify integrity of game file just click on this one so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game if any files are corrupted if any files are missing all these kind of issues is fixed by this particular step so this is an important step that you can try out when you're having these kind of issues and most probably you'll be getting all the details over here right now as you can see there are 368 files is successfully validated which means you're not having an issue with the game file so you can move to the next step so once after verifying the integrity of game file is done you can launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not next one is nothing but we can try with the next step that is all about we can launch the game from the installation folder so right now we are on the game so launching the game from steam might be an issue that's might causing the trouble up so we can try with launching the game from the installation folder for this just go over here and right click and go to properties go to installer files just click on the browse so you are very easily redirected to the installation folder if you check at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common only up so just launch the game from here and see whether the launch the game from the installation folder did work it for you or not even after it's still not working we have to move to the next step the next step is all about running the game as an administrator so both the coming two steps can be done from here because we're in the installation folder so for this right click over here and go to the show more options and go to properties go to compatibility now from here you can click on run this program as an administrator so just go for apply and go for ok so most probably when the game is running as an administrator the state worked for many users and that's that that is working for most users and in my knowledge it did work it so you can try this out if that is not working we have one more step that's called running the game in the compatibility mode for this just click over here and go to show more options and go to properties go to compatibility now from here go to run this program in compatibility mode now as you can see the game is either in windows 7 you can try with the windows 7 go for apply and see whether the issue is solved or you can try with windows 8 go for apply and go for ok and try and whether the issue is solved or not most probably this has to be worked so if this is not working then i request you before proceeding to the next step you can undo this one you can undo this one you can keep running this program as an administrator but just undo this and keep this ok and close this and go back and see whether the issue is solved or not if that's not working we have to move to the next step that is all about make sure the windows language is being set into english for this as you can see i'm using the windows and the language is in english if it's not in english you have to set it to english for this go over here in the search go for settings over here go to time and language go for language and region now from here we can set the language to english so uh, if most users might be using some users have a tendency of depending on the native language for example chinese japanese arabic even german so if that is the case we don't know that might be because the issue says set the language to english go over here in the add language search for language that is english set the language to english make sure that your country is correct that means your geography has to be correct so if you're on the united states you have to set united states if you're from india you have to set india if you're from any other country select the appropriate geography for where you are living now go back over here and you can also try with cross checking click on the date and time so if the time and time zone should be turned on most probably in most cases which i noticed some of users might be turning this on but this might be turned off 
so that might cause the issue so just turn this on as well as turn this on make sure both these things are turned on once after that just close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to launch the game using alt and tab let's just click on the play button but keep in mind when you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from your keyboard i don't know how this this miracle is happening but in my knowledge this did work it for many users many users trust me this did work it you can try this out just click on the play button but when you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab together on a keyboard and that's going to work for you as well next one is all about nothing but we have to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer over here now from here go to this pc and go to the documents over here and you will be finding the folder on only up when you started playing the game and saving each game the progressions you will be having a folder we can delete the folder and you have to keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions when you did this but that is fine we can delete everything and go back and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to windows security for that reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go to over here you can search for control panel like this search for control panel click on this one now from here go to system and security from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to you because it's going to start with it's an alphabet so just cross scroll down yourself and see where is you and you have to cross check whether the game is added or not so if the game is not added you have to don't worry because we can add it by manually so that's not big issue so if the game is not added we can add it so just click on the change settings over here go for allow another app go for browse now from here you have to go to this pc over here go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and go to steam go for steam apps go for common now from here go to only up select this one and open it and go for add so once it's successfully added so it's already added that's why i'm getting the error so if it's already added then you don't have to worry you have to just make sure that whether the private and public has to be checked that is you can see the only up is added make sure the private and public has to be checked that means it has to be marked and you have to close this go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but you have to unplug all the usb devices sometimes you know uh you might be playing a lot of things might be connected to your speed devices for example more uh mouse even it might be connected with joystick logitech wheels etc which all these are causing the issue for that we have to remove everything from here just remove everything once you remove everything try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not if that's not working we can try with the next step that is all about we have to perform a clean boot for this just go over here in the system go for system configure you can search for system over here and go for system configuration now from here go to services you have to go for hide all microsoft services go for disable all go for apply and go for okay that's going to ask you for restart so those users who are watching this you have to go for restart and hence we are in the middle of video so i'm going to go for exit without a restart once restart is done go back to the steam launch it once again try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not if that's not working we have to move to the next step next step is nothing but we have to start with disabling the steam overlay for this just go over here and right click and go to properties now from here you have to make sure this is turn it off this is an important step so you have to uh disable the steam overlay is an important step if this turn it on you have to turn this off and once after that you have to see whether the issue is solved try launch the game if that's not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to give few commands in the launch option the first command is you have to try with dx11 launch the game and see whether the issue is solved if dx11 is not working change this to dx12 and try launch the game so you can try with dx11 as well as dx12 any one of the thing has to be worked so even after trying if still not working we have to move to the next step that is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to search for graphics settings over here just go over here in the graphics settings now from here we have to go over here as you can see i have already added the game dave the driver call of duty modern warfare and you have to add the same just so just go for the browse and you have to go to this pc over here go to local disk c now go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam now from here you have to go to steam apps now go from here go to common now from here go to only up and you have to select this one and go for add 
So it is added, you have to click on the option, set this to high performance and go for save and try launching the game. This is what you have to do. Most probably, if you set this to high performance, what happens is if the game is launching, they're going to use your performance to, to the maximum. That's that might be, you know, uh, fixing the crashing issue. So you can set this up and try launching the game. If that's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is nothing but we have to try with increasing the virtual memory. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, go for view advanced system setting, go for advanced over here, go to settings, go to advanced once again, go for change. Make sure you have to select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case, it is local disk C and make sure this particular one is blank. If you check this, you'll not be able to select the local disk. So keep this in blank and select the local disk where the game is installed. Go for custom size, type the value initial size and maximum size. So keep in mind the initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So we need a calculator. So just go over here in the calculator. So just multiply 32 GB and you have to multiply. So this is my RAM. Don't get confused. This is my RAM. So just type your RAM and multiply with a constant value that is 1024. That brings you 32768. So you have to multiply with 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So just copy paste this. You have to copy this and you have to paste it over here. The maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just type 32 GB and you have to multiply it with 1024. That brings you this and you have to multiply with 3. That brings you 98,003 node 4. So you just have to paste it as well. Now once you set the value to all these, you have to restart and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. If that's still not working, we have to move to the next one. We need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA and the AMD because over here in the NVIDIA, you have to go over here on this particular link and you have to sell every details like your product. Product series has to be selected. Now you have to select what is your product and you have to set if you're on Windows 11, you have to select Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, select this one. Now go for language and everything and go for start search. Now once you after starting the search, you have to check yourself. You'll be getting the rollout option here. That is 536.40 is the latest released version, which is on June 29, 2023. So just download this one, install, restart the PC. And if you're on the AMD, you have to go over here, select this one. And you have to go over here and go for submit. And you have to check if you're on Windows 11, you have to download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one as well. So once after downloading, restart is a mandatory if you're in installing NVIDIA or if you're installing AMD, check whether the issue is solved. For some users, installing the Microsoft Visual C++ did work it. So I'll be providing that link in the description as well. So you can go over here. So this is the Microsoft Visual C++ official. So from here, we can download x64. If your system is based on x64 version, if it's on 8686x86, you can download this one. Download this one, install, restart the PC, and that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to update the windows for the just go over here in the search. Go for settings over here, go to windows update and make sure the windows is up to date. It's an important step. So you have to update the windows, make sure because for running these kind of games, this has to be in the latest version. So just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but we have to try with uninstalling and reinstalling the game. For uninstalling the game, go over here, right click, go to manage uninstall the game. For reinstalling back, you have to go over here and you can to uh, you know, you should not be selecting the same local disk from which already installed. You can try a new local disk. So I'm not having one. You can have one. You can change the position of a game from C to D and install it on try launch the game. This is what you have to do. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.